What's up guys, Mike Wienemacher here. Today is Kill Your Idol Day, Arnold. I'm looking at Arnold's training and I know about you, but growing up, when I grew up, like a long time ago in the olden days, as my daughter would say, it was basically, hey, there she is, say hi to the fans. Hi. <laughs> it was basically the only book we had, the Encyclopedia of Modern Bodybuilding. So what did we do? The double split, right? Because this was for beginners, yeah, blah, blah. We're advanced, we're advanced, right? So train six days a week, it was a bit like sort of, sort of like uh, back and chest, and then shoulders, arms, and then legs, repeat, right? A, B, L, so you, six, six days a week of training, insanely high volume. Now, does it work? Not quite, for a few reasons. A, the volume is too high. Like, you just can't recover as a natural. B, I don't like the way it's grouped. So I don't like a lot of supersets for his arms, for his back and chest. But in conventional supersets, you're pushing the metabolites from one muscle into the other, so you're not creating enough metabolic damage to really grow. Now, I know what you're saying is like, who am I to criticize Arnold? All I'm saying is that scientifically, it could have been better. And then lastly, there's execution. So if you look at his training in pumping iron, his chest flies, he goes like down to here. Now, does he get a max stretch? No doubt. But have you seen his wrists? They're like my knees. So he can do that, okay? If I train that range of motion as he did, I'm not going to train much longer, okay? Now, there's a lot of things you can learn from Arnold, such as his focus, okay? I mean, this guy, okay, this was also before cell phones, but his workouts, man, this guy was on. There's the determination. There is not to, you know, expose your weaknesses. So in the old days, Arnold would always take his photos here, like in the water, not showing his legs, because he had none. Then he said, F it cut all his shorts here and exposed his puny legs and crappy calves until he was good or even great. Because Arnold, in all fairness, did not have great bodybuilding genes, okay? He's got a rather broad waist, he had pretty high lats, so yes, chest and arms were great, but his legs were too long, so by most of us, he shouldn't have been Mr. Olympia, but he was because of his work ethic. I mean, let's take a step back. For all intents and purposes, Arnold should be driving a truck in Austria today and nothing else. The guy grows up without much education, war-torn, post-war Austria, no access to food education. He excels in a sport and makes it mainstream and the sport until then was basically a weird homoerotic subculture. He creates the gyms in every corner business. He then goes into the movie business, invents the term blockbuster, marries a Republican, marries a Democrat or being a, a Republican, pardon me, and becomes a governor of a state he can't pronounce. So obviously there's a lot of things right. All I'm saying that his training could have been optimized and while it worked well for him, I guess it's a very long-winded way of saying he was a specimen, okay? So you and I, we cannot do that kind of volume. We have to watch the strength curve, we have to watch execution, and we have to watch our recovery. But was Arnold the greatest dude ever? Pretty much, you know. And now you're gonna be like, oh, what about the maid, the steady other? Look, if you never screwed up in your life, good for you, you know? Put yourself on a pedestal. I did certainly enough dumb shit to not criticize at others. So, like I said, focus, determination, willingness to take advice, and just pure willpower, that's where you can learn from Arnold. My God.